Hey girls, what's up? Michelle here. Uh, welcome back to this week's video. So just got back from Run Club. It is finally like warm here in Denver. So check the fit. I actually love this. So obviously it's like different shades of blue. This is our high neck royal blue sports bra that we launched last summer, still available on the website in some sizes. Um, and then obviously our blue steel leggings that we launched uh, last month, a couple weeks ago, last month. Um, and it's just such a good combo. Also, look, there's Zeus. Um, look at the back logo situation. We have the logos, like the royal blue on both of them, but this matches the sports bra perfect duo here. Uh, but today we're going to talk about some new shoes. So a couple weeks ago, I was reviewing the Hoka Clifton nines and I was basically retracting every, everything I said about them when I initially got them. Cause at first I was like, yes, I love that. And then I followed up a couple weeks later and I was like, mm, they're not my favorite. And now we're going to talk about these bad boys. So with these shoes, I'm actually really excited. Um, these are the first on running sneakers and really just first on sneakers that when I wear them, they actually feel like a good shoe for me, if that makes sense. Like all the other ones that I've tried, just like things were off. Like they didn't fit as good as my Hoka's or they didn't feel as soft or supportive as like any of my other running shoes that I love. Um, so I'm so excited about these ones. I just realized I didn't look up the stats on them. So please hold. All right, we're back. We got the facts. Uh, okay, so first thing, I'm going to do a comparison specifically on the On Cloud Surfers to the Hoka Clifton Nines because that is like basically the newest shoe for both of the brands of like the running shoe, right? So with these, immediately when I put them on, I was like, holy shit, these are so plush and like they feel bouncy. Like, you know how when people describe a shoe and it's like, oh, it's like walking on a cloud or whatever, like these actually feel like they're giving you a bounce, which I can't say the other, I don't think I've ever had a hook of shoe that like actually felt like this, where like you actually felt that. That's all, that's all. Um, so in comparison, these versus the Hoka Clifton nines, these are plush, which is the most cushion and like a slightly softer cushion from what I understand, um, where the Hoka nines are a balanced, cushion, which is slightly less cushion than what plush is considered. Um, so they both are for a neutral foot, which I am. So great for me. Um, but if you do not have a neutral step, which you can tell what kind of step you have based on where the wear is on your sneakers. So if you're wearing like right in the center, you have a neutral step. If you're wearing on the outside or the inside, you do not have a neutral step and you should look into a right kind of shoe for your foot. Um, for the weight, these are lighter and they feel very light. The weight isn't significant, but it's enough. So these are 7.2 ounces, whereas the Hoka Clifton nines are 7.3. So just like 0.1 ounce. But still, there's something. But like when you feel these, they just feel light. I don't know if it's like the distribution of the weight or whatever, um, but they just feel significantly lighter. Um, then this I'm a little confused about because on, on the on running website, it says that these have a heel to toe drop of 10 millimeters. But for the Hoka Clifton Nines, it says five millimeters, but there is absolutely no way that this is double the drop. So I'm just a little confused as to like how they're measuring it because it doesn't feel significantly different. And so I'm just really not sure. Like, 
I feel like every brand measures things, even though it's like classified as the same thing, they measure it slightly different. So that's what it's saying for the comparison. Really, I'm not sure. Like the way that on is drawing, it's like the difference of like here to here as like what they're saying the drop is, not all the way to the bottom, but I don't know if Hoka's is like, I don't know. Uh, they don't have a picture. So we're just gonna say that the drop is more on these, which I actually feel like when I wear these, my like back corner on the outside, like the outside corner of the shoe, so like this, uh, like this spot of the shoe when I put them on, actually drops down and then it like goes up then down. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like there's almost like a pocket on the side for my heel that I can just like feel a difference of. I don't know. Um, but I actually really like them. The only thing I would say, also they're both vegan, which is great. They're not using any leathers or animal materials. Um, I would say the only thing for me is the difference of this back part, the back heel, in comparison to not even the Clifton 9s, the Clifton 8s are really just the best version of this. The heel goes out on the back and it's so comfortable. It doesn't like dig in. This isn't bad, but it's not my favorite, if that makes sense. So it's not a huge deal, but it's definitely something I noticed. You can't wear like fully low socks because this will rip. But this inner material is way more comfortable than the Clifton Nines, where it's like not a soft material. Um, the tongue's really comfortable. Everything about these are super lightweight. I really like them. I'm also so excited because as a little brand update, we have four new set colors launching this April. Yes, you heard that right. And two of the colors, the reason I got this color of the shoe are on here. So we have an orange coming and we have like this color. It's like a, a light lime green or something. Um, I don't know the exact names yet, but it's gonna match this shoe perfectly and I'm so excited to run in it. I'm also just like, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this or not. I might get a second pair. I don't know. Um, also, I don't know if I talked about this in a follow-up video in last week's video or not, but Hoka, so these also, feels so much wider on your footbed than the Clifton Nines. The Clifton Nines do not feel as comfortable and like they feel slim. Also for Hoka's, cause I had mentioned, I was thinking about getting the Clifton Nines and why, just to like see how they feel and the difference in comparison. They don't come in a wider mold, like a wider actual footbed. They literally just add fabric to the top and that's like wide. So it can like accommodate a wider foot, but it doesn't actually have a wider like sole bed for your foot. I thought that was interesting. Um, there are brands that make a wide shoe that are actually wide and the molds are different, but Hoka does not. Fun fact. Um, anyway, back to Ons. I am really liking them. I thought I was a Hoka girl through and through. I'm really glad I am giving these a try and I've gone for a couple of runs in them now. I think my longest was like four, maybe five miles. They feel amazing. Like they are very light. They're very, again, like bouncy on my foot and they make running really fun. So I've really been liking them. I might get another pair. Um, girls, let me know if you have any questions in the comments about these sneakers, the comparisons to the Hoka Clifton's. Um, yeah, they're really nice. I think that on did a really good job with these and these are honestly the first pair of on running running sneakers that i personally feel good running in and that are like i feel like are made to be running in whereas the rest are more of like a lifestyle that like you could run in but you probably wouldn't want to be running for long um so yeah that's everything um again let me know if you have any questions let me know if you've tried them do you like them are you a hookah girl? Are you an on girl? What, where are you at? Um, and don't forget if this video was helpful to like the video, leave a comment. Uh, let me know if you're going to try them because I recommend, I do recommend. And I wasn't sure. Um, oh, with sizing, 
I wear a size seven in Hoka and these are a size eight. I had to do a full size up. Um, I actually base my sizing now more so off of European than I do off of the US sizing because the US sizing is so ridiculously off for all brands. So a Hoka seven is a European 38 and two thirds where my typical sizing is a US seven and a half, which usually translates to a, a European 38. Like I can like say comfortably, I'm a 38 European and everything. And then it's the US that's like, is that a seven, is that an eight? Is that a seven and a half, whatever. Um, so I'm usually a 38, right? But with running sneakers, it's recommended to go a half size up from your typical size. So for me, comfortably, I am that European like 38 and a half, slightly bigger. But now with on, these size eights are basically the same as Hoka size seven. Crazy, um, because the European size for this is a 39. And so when I try seven and a half in ons, they just are not comfortable. And so I highly recommend def definitely look at the size chart and also look at a pair of shoes that you have, even if they're not ons, of what the European sizing is versus the US. And then look at the on website and see the European for on and what that translates into their uh, US sizing. Hopefully that'll help and hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier to kind of figure out your sizing. But I looked through so many of my shoes and I was like, why are these all so different? Um, because even like Lululemon, a seven and a half is a 39 and a half or something crazy. And I was like, this makes zero sense. I don't understand. Um, so yeah, sizing is crazy. Um, I am a size seven in Hoka. I am a size eight in on. I hope that helps. Uh, okay, girls, that is it for now. And I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.